we were talking about about this as a possible as a living thing the audience will have experience to not just see it or hear it but also to touch it Many years I was inspired by a film by Jean Cocteau called Blood of a Poet, which touched on the subject of viewerism and perspective and how perspective change when you look through a people or through um, a different point of view. Which is a question that I'm interested in most of my work. If our point of view dictate what we see or if what we see dictate our, our point of view. So I was interested to create something that has a much more intimate proximity and also that you're able to see different information. What we're trying to do here is engage people in the arts and within culture. And I think it's really important that people experience many different art forms. Um, Turner Contemporary is a gallery based in Margate. We opened in April 2011 and we've been here um, for almost four years. The Yasmin Vardaman Company is also based in Kent in Ashford and it felt that the two companies should be working together. I met with Yasmin and talked through lots of ideas and I think you know Yasmin was really keen and game. And luckily we uh, got the funding from the Art Council from the Exceptional Award to produce that project. I started to talk to Yasmin about the notion of risk in the creative process. And I like the idea of risk. Risk is something that is always worrying me, but I, it excites me as well. Yeah. Creation is a risk. Uh, proximity is a risk. I was interested in the risk of a relationship, well, the risk of trusting and trust partner, but trust, um, trust your community, trust the society. There's the potential the space to um, to move yeah, this yeah. one. Well, but even if this go in diagonal, then that <laughs> would lift it further away. Yes, well, then this one would go there. Would it, would it help if I called them she? No, it's all right. <laughs> okay, that's good. And then maybe we can close this one like that. Yeah. And that will create a little slightly bigger. She came here and she had lots of of scribbles and things and drawings of of labyrinth and mazes and things that uh, and I immediately told her that I'm not into doing using a maze or a labyrinth geometry 
I said it has to be something else. Okay. It has to be. I don't. Uh, it's the best of the world. Uh, and I, I came up with the idea of this, of, of this huge uh, pieces of foam. Uh, he, he visited um, a factory in China and he showed me some images from those kind of massive blocks of foam. I think there they were even bigger. and I right away fall in love with that idea. It's, I think it's a luxury for a choreographer to get a set that is actually like plasticine, like Play-Doh. <laughs> the most surreal thing in the world, because it's not linked to any experience most people should have in their life, um, <laughs> is there is nothing, you know, it's like trying something completely You can alien. squeeze against it, you can bounce on it, you can fall on it, you can squash it, you can tear it, um, you can peel it, you can hide in it, you can do many, many things in it. It's resistance training. Slice rather than... Yeah. Oh, like that. Tear, yeah, there you go. It's so sparkly inside. It's nice texture. Dead in half. The thing is that it's so nice when it's uh, white and yeah. clean. It will be very hard to keep it clean as well. <laughs> because the sponge just receives so everything. When it arrived, it was all white, and especially when we tear it, it, it looked like an iceberg. But then there is some chemical reaction that happens when it meets the oxygen, and it's become to be more like a cappuccino-like cream. <laughs> so it has, it's, it's changed, it's constantly changed, it's constantly peel itself, as you can see on the floor. It's constantly take the layers off. The material plays a role. All, this, all the characteristics of the material are there including the fact that it yellows, it gets dirty, it, it gets alive. It's all about imposing your will on the material, but the material has a will as well. I like the fact that it's in constant development. The foam is, is never staying the same, it's constant changing. You slowly almost leave your imprint on it. A lot of the foam have changed just from the dancers working on it. It's keep changing, it's keep moving, so it's it become to be a live installation. And it will change during the process and probably having audience in will have the imprint of that as well on it. If we cut it like this... Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, with the hand. Why are you going to just we tried to tear it with the technician, which was not as successful. And then we used the whole company <laughs> to pull it apart. And then we discovered they're quite dense. Because I was interested in just uh, not just leaving them as blocks, but to see what will happen if we tear them apart. And if we And I did a drawing um, on a piece of paper of a path that could be interesting for me to explore performance-wise. Entrance to entrance and then different worlds. So it's much more disoriented and mu much bigger. Then to see how it would be in 3D, my daughter created for me this um, Minecraft. Um, once we decided to work with those massive blocks, that's almost diminished that idea. So basically this is the model that I did at home before we came here. Between the blocks there are quite a lot of small 
Pass me just that you could go through if you want to squeeze. There's a little bit of a risk. But I want to create as many kind of junctions so you can choose if you want to go in a more safe path or you want to squeeze yourself between those branches, which we probably won't get to do today. We don't have enough blocks yet. Because our studio is slightly smaller, so I try to do it. This is the scale for our studio so we can rehearse with it. So we might have another delivery of blocks we see if we need to. Uh, but at the moment, I think we have about enough. <laughs> like that. I didn't mean to have it at the beginning, but I think it could have could have quite a lot of. Well, you've also got really swingy need. bars. Absolutely. Up there, which means someone can hold the pumpkin out because that's literally swing. Such a <laughs> Just bar one across. Yeah. As long as it's strong, that's the important thing. It's not going to fall over. In rehearsal, slip. All you're going to do is hit the corner of a bit of foam. And the floor. <laughs> By technical terms, I need to smoke a cigarette though. Yeah, yeah, favorite part. Why? Because the way it's connected everything here with the rope, you see? You can you can see the real quality of, of the material and the shape. And the softness and the resistance and it's look authentic. I like it. This is my favorite part. There is not a lot of effort but this is actually the way I love it. You can bend the right knee and then again stretch it up to the ceiling. <laughs> you know, so the connection actually make the shape yeah. transform into something that really express the real quality of the material itself which is soft but also very very strong yeah, if you start with Maria on that mm -hmm. okay. and i'm gonna start with Ode Vido Rush and then Levena you still need time i want to watch the hands as well because we talked about it yesterday and i've gone through it with you so yeah. just to make sure that that doesn't get lost and i'll get eventually to all of you yeah but it just takes time Dancers are very scary creatures. They, you know, they like to take risk, and they sometimes come up with things that uh, that I am kind of worried about. I walk through my fears and watch your head run. 
different dancers explore different concepts within the maze. Um, with Silke, I wanted her, it's happened to be, or it's just become an uh, exploration of risk. Uh, she just was happy to take risk, sometimes happier than I wanted her to. Uh, I felt like she almost take that idea of, of risk into, into um, physical exploration. Push! For the dancers, I wanted them to meet the space in a very fresh way. So I want, so first time when they enter into the maze, it was already built and they explored it. Some people explore more the, the space that they've been here, the space that they inhabit. And then I went with them through the process of inhabiting this maze and being in there and living in there and feeling it and almost kind of the skin of the the skin of their body and the skin of the foam become one. As a choreographer, I'm not interested in creating a language and asking the dancers to copy my language or to become me. Almost the opposite. For me as a choreographer, I'm interested in revealing in dancers their own qualities that many times they're unaware of. So exactly, so you get with your hands and inside at the same time. And to push their boundaries and to find their versatility, it's all about give and take. I suggest, they respond, I bounce it back at them, they offer something different back and it's, it's kind of a dialogue. And it's almost like the form action. I can hold and then it's the roll, but maybe this can hold me. Let me try to the time in the something that I want to try at the end today, which is dancing with the audience. Ma. Like Nefana did one by one, but I thought it would be nice if you offer an audience member at the end to dance with them and then slowly lead them out. Everybody. Yeah, everyone. Although hmm. we... Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> man, is that also touching them? Yes. You're giving them the <laughs> choice, though. You give them the choice. Oh, okay. 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 If not, you can just dance around them. Though. Yeah, okay. Uh, have a look. I'll show you the combination that I want you to learn. We'll learn it and then we'll try it. So if you look at the girls, please. Three of those and up to the other side. And then we'll try this, we'll see if it's possible, if, if you hold the audience. Now we can reach it, change, and then you go on the right. I want to, just because I have quite a lot of things with Zohad before he leaves, 
uh, I'll give you the rest of the notes tomorrow, and I think it's six already. Mm. Yeah. No? Yes. Thank I like to ask questions and to see what that might bring. I'm happy with the unpredictability of, of that thing. It's an experience, it's, a, it's something new uh, for me and for the dancers, and it's very exciting to explore. It's almost like the, the foam remember. It's remember the bodies, remember the places that it's been to, the warehouse, it gets, uh, it's got the dust from the, <laughs> the foam, the emitting the oxygen. Uh, meeting the dancers, it's all, it's all stay on it. So there is, there is this notion of memory and experience that he's been through. And, and as I said before, it's almost like, like our own body, that's our own skin that remember. So it has some, something parallel in that.